Let's solve this proportion for n. To do so, our first step is to set cross products equal. So what are these cross products? 15 over 12 times 4 fifths. So that's 15 over 12 times 4 fifths. That's one cross product. The other cross product is 3 sevenths times n. So we'll set these equal to each other. Now we are multiplying, so let's go ahead and start multiplying. This is going to be 15 times 4 over 12 times 5 is equal to 3 sevenths times n. And let's take a moment before we go any further. Let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit. Let's see, 5 and 15 have a common factor of 5, and 4 and 12 have a common factor of 4. So I'll write this as, I'm writing 15 as 5 times 3, and then my 4. 12 I'll write as 4 times 3, and then times 5, and I still have 3 sevenths times n. Let's see what happens now. You see I can now find the common factors and divide them out. Oh my goodness, and the fives divide out also. So what do we have here? The left side, I have 1 times 1 times 1 all over 1 times 1 times 1. So I have 1 is equal to 3 sevenths times n. So how do I finish solving? I take the number not multiplied by n, that's the 1, and I divide it by this number, 3 sevenths. So I have 1 is equal to 3 sevenths times n. That means n is 1 divided by 3 sevenths. And let's see if we can just go ahead and do this mentally. This will be 1 times 7 thirds. And what is 1 times 7 thirds? 1 times 7 thirds is simply 7 thirds. So my value for my unknown number is 7 thirds. By the way, how can you check? Replace n in the original proportion with 7 thirds and see that cross products equal.